All right, I got a few requests to do a tutorial for this um, mani, and uh, so I'm filming, filming it after the fact. Um, so what I'm doing is I have a base of a couple of coats of Finger Paints uh, Paper Mache, uh, which is one of my favorite whites. And then I'm going to be using a bunch of OPIs. Uh, this is uh, my dog sled is a hybrid. This is um, Christmas Gone Plaid, darker green, and then a shimmery one, um, which is Tell Me How Chic I Look. So um, to do this dry marble, um, I, I basically use the same technique that Marine LP91 uses, and that's who I learned it from. Uh, but there's a couple of things that, that helped me. So the first thing is um, using a nice big flat stamper like this um, Creative Shop um, stamping uh, space stamper. I have three of these and I use these quite a bit for uh, this kind of method because this nice flat stamper works um, a lot better for this technique. Uh, I really wanted to use a clear stamper um, and this is like sort of the flattest one I have but for whatever reason these don't work very well for me. Um, it sort of tends to smear the design when I try to pick it up. Um, so what's worked best for me is this um, space damper. So that's what I'm using here. So what I do is I just lay down a thickish coat of the white, which is gonna be my base. And that's what I've used as the um, base for my nails as well. And then you can do it in whatever order you want. I brush off a lot of the polish off of the brush. And then I just sort of brush it on. And then I wipe it on a sort of a lint-free paper towel before I stick it back in the bottle. And then repeat. Oh, that's way too much. And I repeat for the others. And the more you drag through the white, the more it's going to blend in. So depending upon the look you want, um, you may want to drag a lot or a little. So you can always flip it around to add a little more color if you wanted, like I did there. So now to pick it up, I just go across that and most of that will pick up, right? So, and that's what that will look like. So now the second trick for me is, so that's the one I just did. And this is one that I just did um, right before I started filming this. Um, so it's been drawing for a um, few minutes, about four minutes, I would say. And I do that because right now, if I, if I put this on immediately after picking up, it would smear as I try to put it across my nails. But if you let it dry a bit, then the design won't smear um, as, as you put it on. And so that's what I'm gonna do now is, uh, is just firmly press that on and hold to make sure that it's adhering to the nail. And there you go. And I forgot to mention that I did apply um, Orly Bonder to make sure that it would stick. And um, so now, because I have a clear latex on there, um, now all I have to do is go in and separate out. I'm just pushing and separating the bits of the decal I don't want. And because the polish is still pretty pliable, it's really easy to do this. Just getting the bit underneath the nail and then to 
I always find it hard to find the end of the latex with the clear. And and remove that. And there you go. And really you have pretty little um, cleanup to do there with the acetone and um, a brush. But that's the technique I use to do that. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.